Okay, so I'm gonna try to make a video on installing this tire carrier. I've taken some measurements from Pathfinder and I'm gonna see how well this works. Just kind of get it lined up, make some marks and see how well it lines up. And our first one from the tail light is 40.81 and then across it's going to be it's going to be 29.85 from here to here so let's get to it okay so i've got each first out on this side marked up and then the two down here too um and so i'm gonna line it up bring the tire carrier up and see how it sits right here. All right, I have the first two holes right here drilled. Two down here. These aren't the actual size yet. I just put some smaller ones in. So that one I can I can go back with the bigger drill bit and do it correctly. Okay, so I drilled bigger holes in and then I got these M10 rib nuts with a 1.5 uh, pitch and they're in very tight. Um, one thing to watch out for is that you don't strip the uh, thread inside here or break anything. You don't want to go too tight, but you want to make sure that it's tight enough to um, stay in place. So uh, I'm going to hook it up, see what it looks like, and then I'll get these uh, drilled out and put it all together. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to these. Got this hole, this hole. And this hole on this hole and I'm gonna drill those out with the smaller bit first and then move on to the larger one and I would tell you all the size of this but I do not know it all I know is that it it's a very snug fit for one of these to get in when I drill it okay I got all of the holes drilled all the bolts are in um, I'm not gonna put it on yet because I have to figure out a way to get my reverse lights to not be covered up by the tire carrier. And I also have to make a way for the light to show on the license plate, which will also be covered up by the tire carrier. So I'm not gonna put it on. I'm just gonna leave these on. And once I figure that out, I will put everything back on. Okay, I got all the holes drilled, all the bolts are in. Um, I'm not going to put it on yet because I have to figure out a way to get my reverse lights to not be covered up by the tire carrier. And I also have to make a way for the light to show on the license plate, which will also be covered up by the tire carrier. So I'm not going to put it on. I'm just going to leave these on. And once I figure that out, I will put everything back on. Okay, so I've gotten it on. It's on there real good. Everything ended up lining up good enough. Um, one thing it does though when I close it is it hits this bumper. And I'm wondering if it's cause the bumper is at an angle like that. And uh, you can see all oh, where the bumper is kind of uneven in some places. It's not hitting right here, it's very close but uh, it's hitting on the open switch right here, this metal piece. So I'm wondering what I need to do about that. I don't know, I could have mounted it up higher, but my measurements didn't include that. So um, we'll see. Okay, so now I'm gonna drill out the hole for the latch. Okay, so here's how much I had to cut away in order to get this piece to fit. Um, this bumper, like I said, because of that angle still gets in the way. You can see where it's been scraping right here. Um, but it'll latch up just fine. I'm gonna drill a hole here and here and put some rib nuts in. Okay, so now I've got these holes drilled and cut out for this piece right here. And for both uh, latching mechanism parts, I'm using the M8 riv nuts with the original bolts that came with it. Okay, so that's it 
for both these latches. And then at Walmart, I got this license plate light right here and these $21 um, 600 lumen lights for the reverse lights. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Um, so everything's mounted up. I've got the um, original covers here. I think this one goes on the bottom. No, top. I've got the original covers, they need to be painted. And uh, then I'll put them on. I've got these little holes right here and you shove a piece of plastic down there that I, that's what I did last time for the Pathfinder we have. Um, and it holds it in place. So I'll paint these little plastic covers, put everything together, and then we'll move on to all the lighting for reverse lights and um, license plate lights. Okay, so it's a lot later. Got everything on. Um, I don't have the reverse lights on yet, but I'll do that tomorrow. I got the license plate uh, just kind of held in place right now. And uh, I'll show you what it looks like when it comes on. So we got the whole thing is visible. And I do need to take out the lights behind the uh, tire carrier because they're still showing a little bit. But other than that, everything all together looks good. Okay, so for the very last thing, I put the reverse lights up right here on the spoiler. And they were super cheap, so the mounting hardware, the screws stripped out super easily. And so I just ended up not using that. Instead, I used this 20 pound uh, double sided Gorilla Glue type tape, and it holds them on very well. Uh, the wiring comes out here and goes into the original wiring harness and down into this panel, connects into the reverse lights and grounds where the audio amp is. This is what they look like when they're on. They're pretty bright. Um, they light up the ground a little bit and very visible from this side and over on this side. So everything ended up looking good. Um, I'm still going to figure out where to put the camera, but that should be it for the video. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments and uh, I'll try to answer them the best I can. Thank you.